Hi, Nolan. I want to read you this book. This book is called Working Hard with the Rescue Helicopter. I'm a helicopter pilot. Every day I fly my rescue helicopter to many different places. Spend a day with me and my co-pilot and see how we help people. I make sure my helicopter is ready to fly. Before taking off, I check all the controls in the cockpit. The lever on my left makes the helicopter go straight up or down. The one in front of me makes the helicopter fly in different directions, forward, backward, even sideways. My rescue helicopter is an amazing flying machine. It can stay in one place when it's high in the air. When the helicopter hovers this way, it looks like a giant bird. I take off straight up in the air. A powerful engine turns the long rotor blades. When they spin around, the helicopter climbs high in the air and flies. The rotor blades make a whirring sound. Some nicknames for a helicopter are whirly bird or egg beater. The tail rotor stops the helicopter from spinning around in the air. The flashing lights can be seen on the ground and by other planes too. The long skids on the bottom of the helicopter are used when I land the helicopter on the ground. The gurney, this is called a gurney, it safely holds the people that I rescue. The winch raises and lowers the gurney. The dispatcher is calling me on my radio. Uh-oh, there's a big fire in that skyscraper on Green Street. My helicopter lights flash. The siren roars over and out. I'm on my way. Firefighters on the ground work hard to put out this raging fire. I help people too, but my job is up in the air. I can take off and land my helicopter in a very small area. Then my co-pilot lifts the injured man from the roof of the burning building. The winch pulls the gurney into the helicopter when I, and then we're on our way to the nearest helicopter. No, the nearest hospital. I land the rescue helicopter on the hospital roof. Now the injured man can get the medical treatment he needs. A few minutes later, I'm in the air again. My helicopter is perfect for rescuing people who are in trouble. That woman, she's fallen from the deck of her ship. I hover in the air above the rough sea to save her. After pulling her from the water, I fly her to the shore. The harbor patrol is waiting for us. After saying goodbye to the harbor patrol, I fly straight up in the air. My rescue helicopter can fly 200 miles per hour. Wait a minute. My dispatcher's telling me about another emergency. This one is far away. A hurricane destroyed the bridge leading to this small town. The fallen trees have blocked the major roads. Although a car or ambulance can't get through, my rescue helicopter can. Since I carry food and medicine and other supplies, I can drop them to the people who need them in this emergency. The fierce storm also caused a nearby river to overflow its banks. I look, see, I see someone stranded on that roof. The little boy is safe inside the strong harness of the gurney. I take a break and return to the heliport. The crew refuels the helicopter. The powerful engine uses kerosene fuel. Now it's time to go back to work. My rescue helicopter flies over the tall mountains that surround the city. That man hurt himself while he was skiing down the mountain. My rescue helicopter is like a flying ambulance. I'm going to take the injured skier to a nearby hospital. I have one more stop to make. Far out at sea, the crew on that oil rig is working really hard. They depend on the rescue hel helicopter to take supplies to them. There's a space for me to land on the oil rig called a helideck. It's getting foggy and windy now. Landing safely will be a little tricky because of the weather, but I make it and I deliver their supplies. It's been a long day. Now it's time to head home. 
I leave my helicopter at the heliport for the night. I'm on my way to celebrate a special day with my family. I'm just in time for my daughter's birthday party.